Josh McDermott. She, she fell off her chair. Anyway. She's so into the show. And Eugene, you played, you played <laughs> Eugene Porter. Michael Cutlitz played Sergeant Abraham Ford, who sadly suffered one of the deaths. Parents, we're going to keep it clean as, as possible for parents at home okay. who are worried. And I'm sorry if you haven't seen it yet, but sorry, spoiler Dial alert in. here. You know what happens, because by now it's everywhere on social media. But Michael, <laughs> when did you know what was going to happen? I found out about a little over a year ago. A little uh, over a year ago, yeah. so you huh? had time yeah. to prepare yourself. I did. I was up uh, uh, visiting my son in uh, San Jose in school, and I got a phone call from Scott, and he left a message. And he's like, hey, well, when you get back into town, I, uh, we need to have a meeting. And I was like, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> no, I was like, no. I called him right back. I'm like, we're not having a meeting. What's going on? <laughs> I said, just let me know. Like, am, am I going to die? He's like, well, we're not sure exactly, but we think maybe. I was like, okay. So oh, wait, did he tell you couldn't tell anybody else in the past? <laughs> he wasn't sure. They, the, yeah. the stories develop as, as we go along, and he's like, it might happen at the end of this season, season five. It might happen at the beginning of, I'm sorry, end of season six. It might happen at the beginning of season seven. So they had to figure out what worked best for the story, um, schedule, structure of what they wanted to do, um, you know, squeezing the juice out of yeah. that uh, lemon. <laughs> and the two of you, As it were. <laughs> Josh and Abraham, the two of you really are sort of, you, you became, I guess, was it season four that you came on or season yeah. five? And, season and people four. embraced you from the start. You became in, in, basically enveloped in Rick's circle. And people loved you guys. So for you to die off, and then Glenn, too, yeah. last night, Stephen Young, mm -hmm. who's amazing. I mean, fans are really upset. Yeah. Yeah, they, they Josh are. is upset. I'm upset. I've lost my, uh, buddy. my best bud here. Oh. I have to hang out with Christian Serratos now, who <laughs> yeah. plays hey, Rosita. Wait a minute. Um, no, she's she's awesome. But yeah, it's it's hard because Michael and I have grown close. We actually were on the same flight out to Georgia together, yeah. and uh, I was a fan of his from Band of Brothers and Southland and that sort of thing. And I I was just excited to, to sit next to him on the plane, let alone work with him. And uh, halfway through the flight, he's just like hitting me and just puts his hand out to bump his fist. He's like so excited to be a part of this show. And I was like, OK, this is a guy who's been in the business for a long time and he's still excited about this. It's OK for me to be really excited about this You're getting show. You're emotional. A little bit. I mean, it's um, hey, look, I mean, we're, we're buds and we, we talk all the time. We hang out and stuff. So it doesn't really feel like uh, he's out of my life. We just don't work together anymore. Yeah. Um, that was actually my choice, by the way. I'm sorry. Uh, I <laughs> made Scott. Apparently, there was a phone call before my phone call. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's kind like, of overshadowing me. His like mustache that. looks better than my mullet right now. Let's <laughs> get him out of here. We're going to talk about the looks. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, we're going to keep it for. I, I, I think it's the, the fans just found out last night. I think that uh, we'll give them a moment to, before I take it off. I've been lying about it for a year. They don't need to. They'll be like, well, he didn't care. He took his mustache off. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> they yeah, would feel they betrayed would in a died. weird way. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do if I ever uh, meet my demise on the show. Right I would cut my hair right away, yeah. You, don't, you just told me you love the mullet for you. I said I love the mullet. Well, that's because you're from Georgia, and you, you've yeah. seen a lot of mullets in your life, I'm sure. But then you can tell that this is a really good one. It's good. But it's so real. <laughs> it's real. You pull on it, and it's there. It's good. It's you can get it here going on. So many fans come up, and they're like, that's real. I thought it was fake. And it's like, yeah, it's real. And they go, can I touch it? Exactly. Like, that's what people can. Can I touch the mullet? Can I touch your mustache? Can I touch your mustache? You're like, y yeah. It's, it's Last weird. night were fans, or when y'all yeah. shot the, that episode, were fans sneaking around? Because I know you used to have the dead dinners, right? Which you would sort of celebrate if a cast member was leaving. We can't do that anymore, right? Because the fans are fanatic. And they'll they find out the story. Out. They figure it out. And they, yeah. you know. It's, um, ch it's changed. We still, we still get together and say goodbye. Um, but the, the, the way we do it is different. The great thing is the cast is and the crew are so tight that even if we just go to dinner on a Tuesday night, people yeah. are like, "Who? Which one of them died?" Because they're out at dinner <laughs> together, and uh, and so it's fun to mess with them a little bit. Like we're all just like rubbing, like, like oh, you know, sorry, Lauren buddy. Cohan's yeah. back. Like, oh, yeah. so good to yeah, see you. Exactly. And they're like, "I think Maggie Josh died." Josh and I are crying because we always cry. Yeah, it's just it's rough. Well, at one point when I was watching last night, I thought everybody died because yeah. they showed Rick sort of imagining that everybody was gone that he loved, and I was like, "Wait, but who's left? Is it just yeah. Rick?" I mean, was it a little too gruesome, though? Did, did, did the directors talk about, you know, coming? I mean, I know the show is always gruesome, but in this case, like seeing the way Steven's character was killed off with the eyeball popping out and hey. the blood and he's trying to talk and it was a lot to handle. Yeah, it, it, it was less than what is in the graphic novel, to be honest. Is that right? The graphic right? novel is much, much more graphic, in, in, especially in, in Steven's uh, death. But I, I think the show needed what we did last night because it literally we get into a cycle of 
oh, they get in jeopardy, and then everything's okay, and they find a happy place, oh, and then they're in jeopardy again. This kind of changed all the rules, where it was sort of like where you knew nobody was really ever safe, mm -hmm. but now there's a whole other level of not being safe. It's mm -hmm. like, well, if I look at this guy the wrong way, I'm going to, uh, you know, it's, the stakes have been raised. So you, I think as an audience member, you don't know what's going to happen next. If you've watched from the beginning, it's not really the zombies that are the threat anymore. This Wait, we can't more, call them zombies, right? This I was is, told. You don't call them zombies. The, oh, the I thought walkers. they were walkers. They're walkers. We don't call them. Well, within, within the realm of this show, we don't call them They're zombies. Walkers. But you yeah. can call them. I still yeah. call them zombies, yeah. you know, whenever. But when we're filming, it's walkers. walkers. But it's more, it's the humans. And they're the bad guys and the good guys. And yeah. you guys have always been with the good guys. It's the bad guys that are the scariest part of this show. Now, it's Negan and his crew. I mean, it's interesting because I think that's there's a big debate there with, you know, if this story had followed Negan from the beginning, we might think that he's the good guy. Um, Rick has certainly done some things leading this group that are questionable, um, he, but he's done it to protect his people. And uh, I think there's a, a strong case to be made for, you know, to justify why Negan has done that for his, his people too. Me personally, I think he's a bad guy, but you could make an argument that he's a good guy if we had followed his story.